so here we are, uh, August 2012, working on our plant growth regulator trials here that we've worked with with Engage Agro and ATP. So what we did here is we set up a different bunch of different rates of fertilizer and nitrogen across the field. Uh, the light green strips are 100 pounds flat rate. The dark green are our variable rate application, and the red is 130 pounds and the blue is 160 pounds of nitrogen. We replicated that a couple times. And then this yellow area here is where we spray the plant growth regulator um, at Growth Stage 31. So if you look out that direction there, you can see the edge of the trial running the same distance, same length of the combine where there's a bit more lodging there. And then here we're running up to this high rate um, nitrogen. You can see obviously it's lodged um, even with the plant growth regulator, it's, it's lodged. Um, and we're starting to see a bit of a trend show up on our yield map here that actually this high rate N is actually lower yield. Here's the scale here. Um, lower yielding than um, some of the other strips or especially um, the, the variable rate strips. So what we've seen with the variable rate applications is just a much more consistent even crop less disease pressure. You can see just ahead here is a line between the higher rate nitrogen where it's lodged and the variable rate application. The variable rate application is much more consistent and uh, even with less lodging and when we scouted these fields earlier in the year we saw that there was um, much better um, disease control in these areas where the high nitrogen, where the N decay ratio was out of balance, we saw increased level of disease and we can see in these actual variable rate areas um, we're pushing yields up to, you know, um, anywhere between 65 to 75. Uh, so it's, it's looking pretty good. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, we definitely can see the difference that the, the plant growth regulator has made as far as standability, and I believe we're seeing a yield increase there. Um, but we're uh, definitely seeing the most um, response in, uh, in the, the variable rate application.